Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, July the 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and Saturday was a hot one. Across central Alabama, temperatures uh, look like this. 93 at Pell City, 95 at Calera, 96 at Birmingham. It was 96 at Tuscaloosa, 96 at Mon- or 97 at Montgomery, 98 at Tuskegee and Monroeville. Those were the state's hot spots. You can disregard that 104 at Jasper. Uh, 87 at Aniana, maybe uh, thunderstorms kind of rolled across that area uh, at early afternoon. That's a little questionable. Utah's 88. That's a little questionable. Eh, Clanton's 89. Eh, but uh, it was hot across the area. Going to be hot again today. Temperature is in the middle 90s, a few upper 90s, uh, some of the normally hotter spots, Montgomery, Tuscaloosa, probably going to be that way again today. No relief in sight. Uh, no uh, real changes, just isolated thunderstorms today. Uh, here's the, just sort of stealing the headline here, the uh, temperatures over the next uh, uh, seven days off the National Blend of Models showing uh, middle 90s every day, uh, middle 70s every night. Not much change in our weather. That's also the story nationally. Lots of heat advisories, uh, excessive heat warnings in the deeper magenta there uh, across a good bit of the country. I don't remember many times seeing uh, many more uh, uh, areas of uh, heat advisories and excessive heat warnings at any time. Of course, there have been more, but this is pretty impressive. This is the story ridging uh, the next seven days uh, off the GFS showing above normal heights centered over the eastern United States, including Alabama. That's going to suppress thunderstorm development uh, a good bit each day and keep us uh, hotter than normal. This is that HRRR at uh, 4 o'clock today showing those isolated storms looking a lot like yesterday. Uh, if you get under one, you could have some strong uh, uh, downdraft winds, so watch out for that. Uh, but the chance that anybody's going to get one today, about 1 in 10. That same trend continues for Monday. About a 10% chance that you'll see a shower or a thunderstorm. Little better chance on Tuesday, only because we're beginning to see moisture levels starting to increase as we go through the week. Again, more of the same on Wednesday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms afternoon and evening. More of the same on Thursday. A little bit better chance every day. Friday, oh, maybe we're going the wrong way there, going backwards. Uh, Saturday into the weekend, scattered showers and thunderstorms by Monday, August 3rd. This is voodoo territory, uh, but I think we go through perhaps a, a small break in the ridge uh, at some point during the end of the ridge building back uh, toward the end of the period. That may mean that we uh, push a little front down to the Gulf Coast. That's eh, kind of hard to believe, too, but um, if it did, that would suppress the shower and thunderstorm activity down toward the Gulf Coast. This is the GFS uh, operational showing, you know, kind of what you would expect, hit or miss. Some areas, four inches of rain. Some areas, a half inch of rain. And everything in between over the next two weeks. That's pretty much what you can expect. It's just feast or famine, hit or miss, depending on where you are when those scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms develop. The tropics still continue to be eerily quiet, uh, despite this busy season that we've had so far, really the European only picking up on potentially one area that uh, might see tropical storm development there north of Bermuda. Uh, so uh, even though we've got a good wave train coming off of Africa and moving across the Atlantic, uh, don't see any name storms anytime in the near future in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, we'll be talking uh, to Eli Jacks. From the National Weather Service, he's in charge of their hazard simplification process that they're going through right now. So that'll be a very interesting uh, conversation as they talk about uh, perhaps getting rid of the uh, of the product advisory uh, watches and warnings, and um, you know just going to statements. So we'll have uh, the man in the hot seat on Monday night on Weather Brains. Uh, get the uh, get the uh, weekly netcast that's all about weather wherever you generally. Uh, consume your podcast. That's Monday night, 8 o'clock, Weather Brings. Well, that's your weather briefing for this Sunday, July 19th. I'll have notes on the blog and update on the forecast around noon. 
Of course, any of those uh, isolated storms that get going will have updates throughout the day. Uh, James will be back with two a days tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll be back next Sunday. And until I see you then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.